Hey everyone, welcome back to Pureology. I'm Puri, and today I'm going to be giving you a walkthrough of the Intel Graphics Command Center and Intel Arc Control. These are two application suites that come with Intel's Arc GPU series. I'm using an Arc A750 today, and I've just installed these applications for the first time. So I wanted to take this as an opportunity to show everyone Intel's GPU applications, which are similar to NVIDIA GeForce Experience, NVIDIA Control Panel, and AMD's Radeon software, which is called the Adrenaline Edition right now. Intel has two main applications where you can configure your graphical settings, similar to NVIDIA. First is the Intel Graphics Command Center. You can auto-detect game, have it optimize settings for you. You can also select your capture settings here. I'm very interested in seeing the results of this because of the AV1 encoder. It's supposed to be amazing and from what I've seen so far, the results are pretty incredible. So be on the lookout for more videos on AV1. Right now I'm going to be going over the software suite. So next you have the display tab and this allows you to configure your displays. You know, if you want to duplicate or extend them, if you have multiple displays, you can change the color here. And then it also gives you a lot of information about what you're running. It tells you what you're running, your serial number, as, as well as the available supported modes here. Under the video tab, you can configure the color, sharpness, noise reduction, a ton of other things. And you can also add your own videos to to check how the effects are gonna be displayed. Over on the system tab, here we can change things like the hotkeys. It will tell you what GPU you're running here. I, you can see I'm on an A750 on the latest driver, 31.0. For hardware, I paired it with the 5600X. I think this is in the range of CPUs you wanna be using if you're on an A750. Under support, they have various links where you can get your drivers, you can contact Intel, go to a forum, report bugs, go to a self-help website. Here you can do a system diagnostic where you can generate a report, some licensing information, and then you've got preferences. So it's very similar to NVIDIA control panel. It's going to give you a lot of global controls here. Now moving on to Intel Arc Control, I would say this is closer to GeForce Experience where you're able to update your drivers from within this application, check what version you're on, tell it when you want it to update, when to check for updates, even set the type of installation you want, whether you want a clean installation or an express installation. Just a note, I recommend always doing a clean installation on GPU drivers. Under the Games tab, you can add games to your library. I just installed this application on a fresh install of Windows so I don't have any games on here right now. Under the performance tab you can see that there are various metrics that you can track through this application. You can configure it. You can also tune your GPU straight from this application. So you can boost the performance here, change the voltage, change the power limit, change the temp limit and even have it default to apply these settings on boot. You can have an in-game overlay on or off. There's a hotkey for this. I'll show you that in a second. Under Studio, you can choose different settings for streaming, for capturing, and also for automatic highlight capture. If you click the bell over here on the top menu, you'll see your notifications. Over here is your menu customization, so you can choose what is actually displayed on the left side tab here. And then we've got some app preferences, so where you want it to appear, you know, how transparent do you want it to be. If you want it to eat up less resources, you can have this switched on, data collection. This button actually is another shortcut to the menu customization. 
can set your hotkeys for arc control and the performance overlay as well as starting and stopping highlights and then notification settings here. Global game settings, you can have driver boost automatically enabled which will automatically optimize games for you as it detects them. I always leave this off because I prefer doing doing it manually but if you want it but if you don't want to bother with it and just have it auto optimized then go ahead and click this. Under frame delivery, these are different vSync options, post processing. This can even change your aspect ratios and 3D overrides for anisotropic filtering as well as anti-aliasing. Under system info, you're going to see hardware info, software info with version information as well, and then capabilities in terms of graphics. Technical support, again, three different links for different ways to get support, and then about is just some legal mumbo jumbo, and more legal mumbo jumbo. So, this is the software suite for the Intel Arc GPUs. I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, please drop a like and subscribe for more content like this, and have a great day. Thanks for watching.